Number five, the omniscient PO. But the product owner without any doubt where to go. This product owner does not need the team. On the contrary, collaboration only slows him or her down. The product owner provides not just the why, but also the how and what at the same time. This is particularly not uncommon for former engineers who became product owners. They keep thinking in solution, not in problems. Do you remember the sketchy phrase, love the problem, not your solution? This is exactly one manifestation of that. If this turns out to be a product owner with a dominant personality, and this is combined with a sort of submissive team, you really create a combination that is not ideal from a Scrum perspective because checks and balances are gone. Development team is supposed to challenge the product owner, whether the suggestions of the product owner are really the best use of the team's time. If this is not happening, something is wrong. Again, then you're moving toward a feature factory, some kind of cargo called Scrum or Agile, but it's certainly not Agile product development.